just give you a quick update on my pregnancy and how everything is going. So I am about 10 weeks now, I think. And um, yeah, so Christmas has just passed, but honestly, it was like probably one of the worst Christmases ever. Like, and I, that sounds awful, but um, you know, my kids are five and two and they were really excited and it was brilliant, but I just felt like absolute shite all the time um like mostly in the afternoons and the evenings whereas the beginning of, the, of my pregnancy the very beginning it was more like the mornings but now it's the afternoons it's the evenings it's sometimes even waking up in the middle of the night feeling nauseous and like oh my god I'm just trying to go back to sleep just to get through it so I definitely felt like that a lot you know and I've been feeling like just come on just like please just let the weeks please just go <laughs> you know continue on this just, just please can I reach 12 13 weeks where I feel a bit better and which is kind of awful like it's really not the way I like to live my life at all I'm really like yeah let's you know let's really live in the moment let's meditate and you know do yoga and everything and right now I'm just like no just just get me out of here just get me through this and really what what has been getting me through it is food mostly uh rest and just being like just being really good to myself and not pushing myself to do things that I don't want to do although I do feel better when I get out and go for a walk um I still haven't really told many people I've told like just like close family and it's hard when you can't just like bitch about how you feel you know because it's so nice just to be able to do that um so yeah it's it's been really tough so what yeah so just eating has really gotten me through like I have to eat at least every two hours, um, ha have snacks on me all the time, you know, I suppose the good thing about Christmas is that I have, you know, that, like my daughter's off school, so there's, you know, there isn't the school run and that to be doing, but um, yeah, it really sucks, like the first trimester of pregnancy really sucks, I think it's, personally, I found this one worse than the other two, and I don't know, is it because I have two kids as well. I don't know, it's because it's the winter time. Like my two previous pregnancies, the first trimester was kind of during the summer-ish. So I don't know if that makes a difference, but yeah, I found it really, I've, I have found it really, really hard. So I just can't wait to reach like 12 or 13 weeks where I'm starting to feel better, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so what, what kind of gets me through is like, you know, just I just have like a, spoonful of peanut butter or something like just to get my energy back up um and I, I've been trying to you know eat really healthily and that's usually fine it's like as long as I'm eating something I don't really care so just having lots of healthy food around me really helps I've been eating lots of eggs which we have our own eggs from our own free range organic hens in our garden so that's great um I've been eating lots of sourdough that a friend of mine makes. That's amazing. Sourdough bread, my own brown bread. Like I just have like a stash, a constant stash of like really good food. And I, I snack a lot with nuts, fruit. Yeah, food. That's, that's really what's been getting me through it. Like I've been having two breakfasts every day, you know. Anyway, you get my drift, food. Um, apart from that, there have been a few moments where I've, just kind of completely lost it like just gotten really really angry about things that normally I'd be just a little bit annoyed about but like I've really like flipped the lid because I just like I don't know like I guess my emotions are pretty like you know high and you know just little things and I just have gone absolutely apoplectic about and my husband's like trying to understand what's going on and then I he kind of realizes then oh yeah the, the emotions like are really really intense so whereas normally I'm not an angry person I don't argue like I, I would have a discussion about things if something's bugging me you know um but yeah like I've just like flipped the lid several times and then I suppose after a few days I kind of realized really maybe I maybe I didn't need to be that you know react that way excuse me anyway so that's uh yeah very emotional 
I've also been feeling quite tired a lot. Like I know that's really normal. There's so much going on in my body and I just really need to rest. And so I have been resting and I think it's made such a difference because I either lay down on the couch or I actually go to bed. Sometimes the kids will come in and they'll like play beside me, do my hair, score um, or whatever. Like they just kind of play in around and I'm lucky because they're at ages now where they really can just like play by themselves or play together and I don't have to worry about them you know um like they can like my son brings a lego and he just plays by himself he could play for like hours with the lego and my daughter will draw and you know cut and you know stick and she loves arts and crafts so in that sense I am really lucky you know probably shouldn't be complaining but you know I actually think that we're allowed to complain you know especially during the first trimester when you don't really have people to complain to so i'm complaining now to you and if you're going through the same thing as me if you were during your first trimester you might be feeling so many different emotions from being so grateful to be to being pregnant and so excited and so hopeful and yeah like to feeling like absolute crap and wishing this time was over because you just want to get to the point where you feel great and I know it's coming so that's keeping me going and I am trying but I'm not really succeeding in finding moments where I can connect with the baby but I don't think I'm just ready for that right yet right now because yeah my yoga kind of has you know I don't really I'm not really doing yoga at the moment I just think like whenever I get a moment I just want to lie down or eat so <laughs> yoga is really a time where I can connect like I, I just can zone out and connect whereas I haven't been giving myself that time at the moment and I know it'll come so I'm okay with that so maybe even just talking about it now will help me to find the time for that um, but yeah so just really nearly there nearly over the first trimester and I suppose there's always that worry you know I think especially when you've gone through it before I don't know for some reason I'm, I'm more aware of all the things that can go wrong I know that's awful I shouldn't really I shouldn't be thinking like that but um of just getting to the end of the first trimester because I guess then you know okay the placenta is fully formed and your baby my baby is you know being sustained by the placenta and then hopefully all the nausea will be gone you know I just I just wonder the people who have um hyperemesis like how they do I just like I'm in awe if you've had hyperemesis like my god like I am in awe of you to be able to go through something like this for the whole pregnancy and I haven't even been getting sick like physically I just feel like shit so anyway yeah I hats off to you if you get if you have that and you go through that what we do what we do as women is just it's just amazing when you think about what we do to sustain to conceive to con sustain to grow a new life is just amazing and anyway yeah I just can't wait for the first time I get to meet my midwife who is the same midwife who I've had for my two previous amazing amazingly um, amazingly positive home birth experiences to get to meet her again and to start the whole thing and to prepare for the birth because it's like I can't wait I like that is going to be just amazing so a uh, bit of a birth junkie here I am going to I, I've, been, I've been meaning to tell the birth stories of my two children and I'm going to vlog them and put them up very soon maybe even before I put this out but yes birth my the like in my experience birth is a huge huge positive experience and it's so special and so sacred and it's amazing like everything I suppose I, I haven't really been thinking about it that much yet because I'm trying just to get through this stage but um I know that once once I'm through the the first trimester that I'm really going to start looking forward to the birth because yeah then I'll get to meet my little baba so that'll be so exciting okay I am just like full of waffle right now so I'm going to sign off and 
if you've gotten this far thank you so much for watching and i will chat to you again soon if there's anything you want to ask me about the first trimester um feel free to do so but um yeah hopefully it won't be just ranty and bitchy again because i intend to be back you know with more positive vibes very soon cheers bye bye